Hello everyone, I have some more Linux networking messing around for you today. I will be showing you how to rename your network interfaces and maybe touch on uh, some persistent uh, configuration files. So let's get to it. Some of the things that I will show you today, you will be able to find in a Git repository. I will leave a link for you in the description. Um, things were much simple uh, in the old days. Now we have shit like uh, systemd and uh, networkd and network manager. And in the name of commodity, things got really messy, at least in my opinion. Um, I don't want to make this episode a rant against the... Uh, anyway, so um, let me show you how to rename your network interface. Um, let me make the font a little bigger. If I'm checking the name of my actual network interface right now, uh, I have this EMP0S3. I want to rename this. Um, why do I want to rename this? I don't know. My advice for you is uh, don't bother with renaming network interfaces. I'm showing you this. Uh, I don't know why I'm showing you this. If you think it's uh, useful information, just uh, go along with it. So the first option for renaming a network interface will be UDEV rules. So I will create a um, rule under here. Let's say 40 ETX rules. And I will be matching on, I don't know, kernel you will see what I mean. Uh, no, let's start. I will be matching on uh, subsystem. It should be net. And maybe kernels. It should be something here also. And the assignment will be name it x zero now the information that i i'm matching on i can find that uh using this command you dev admin info um, and i can specify the the node under ccfs uh, the path to that node is class net emp 0 s 3 So this is my node uh, with all the parents. And these are things that I can match in my um, udev rule. And I use this subsystem. I don't want to use uh, the kernel name emp 0 s 3 uh, you might see in some other examples that you can find online, lots of people are using uh, the, the MAC address on the, of the interface, but it's not a very good strategy. A better strategy would be to use the, um, the PCI uh, ID here. Let me copy this and put it in, uh, in my rule. Just a single pair of codes. And that should be enough. I can match on some other stuff if I want to, but I, I don't want to. That's enough for me. And um, let's reboot and see what happens. For the second method, I will use a link file which I will put here, etsy systemd network. I don't have anything right now here. 
There's one default file. It's important to show you also this lead system D. This one, default link. And the important thing here is that uh, if you want to create a custom file for renaming the interface, you need to be sure that this uh, the name of the file um, is uh, lexically before this one. So something like uh, 10 minus or... Um, I have a link file in my Git repository. Let's see. Here, this one, eth0.link. I will be copying this under Etsy system the network. and rename this uh, eth0 i will uh, name this 10 that uh, no, 10 minus et ety0.link doesn't uh, the the name of the file doesn't have anything to do with the name of the interface uh, it's just for you to recognize it uh, easily link so let me go and edit this ETY. All right, you have here a couple of uh, useful comments, and um, this this file has two sections: the matching part and then the link configuration part. And um, again, I can the uh, I can match by my uh, by the MAC address. I don't want to do that. I don't want to use the driver. Also, I can or I can leave it alone. Doesn't matter. What I'm interested is uh, this path right here. I want to use again the the, the PCI uh, slot for the network card. Let's go to another tab. Make this bigger also. And display the, the network properties, actually the, the network interface uh, properties. You the admin. Sys class net emp 0 s 3 What I'm interested in here is this uh, this ID. So I can place it here. Let's delete those. The driver can can be this one. E1000 if you See here. Delete the comments. Description: My lovely ety0. I don't need an alias. MAC address policy. I don't need to mess around with this. I can configure a MAC address, a custom MAC address, just for you to see that this works. Let's see: one, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, A, B. This should be a valid MAC address. And for the name, I will use ety0, as promised. I don't care about the rest of the stuff in here. I can just leave it like that. And there's another thing that I need to do. I need to pass a kernel uh, boot parameter. Um, is right here in the comments of this file net dot if names equals zero. So I will do this like 
etc default group. I will place it here net if names equals zero. I need to do an update group for this to update the group configuration file. And now I can reboot. Let me check once again. Things are looking good. Let's reboot. Back again with the second uh, network interface renaming method. Let's check what we have done. Here it is, ETY0, with the weird uh, MAC address that I've chosen. Now it's not uh, configured uh, anymore by the network manager. I don't have a, at least I don't have an IPv4 address. I have this weird shit. Um, so this is it. Uh, this is how you can uh, how you can rename your uh, network interfaces. There is an, there are other options, um, but uh, and again, my recommendation for you is uh, don't mess with this if you don't have a special need. I mean, just for your. Uh, I mean, if you want to rename this just because you're more comfortable with some other uh, naming convention, I don't think it's worth the the effort. Um, I have done this in a. I have demonstrated. I have demonstrated this for you in a relatively short uh, time. But uh, if you have to study this and mess around with different distributions you will find yourself uh, in a rabbit hole and it's not uh, it's not very pleasant so anyway i hope this uh, has been at least uh, interesting and i'm waiting for you in the next one bye bye